Hey everyone, Dr. Halloran here with Momenta Chiropractic and I'm going to show you how to do some thoracic extension mobility work with a foam roller. So to do this, we're going to start on the floor with the foam roller positioned behind us, right beneath the bottom of our shoulder blade. And then from there, we're going to pull our hair back, ladies, because we don't want to foam roll over our hair. We're going to place our fingers right behind our uh, neck, so we're supporting our cervical spine there. Then bring your elbows together toward the midline so that your scapula are out of the way of the thoracic spine. From here, we're going to extend over the foam roller, making sure that we're pivoting from the middle back and not from the neck. Once we get to this extended position, we're going to take a deep breath in. And return back up to that starting position. Then we're going to slowly inch up the thoracic spine so that we're hitting one vertebra at a time, getting mobilization through each thoracic joint there. Leaning back, taking a breath at this bottom position. And returning back up to the uh, starting position. The reason that we want to make sure that we're supporting our cervical spine is so that we're not just letting our head flop back and not actually get any extension through the mid back. So again, support that um, cervical spine, bring those elbows together before you initiate the movement there. This is a really great way to get some passive thoracic range of motion through in the extension range. Um, so give it a try and let us know what you think.